most of the stuff that you see in front of the camera. Our order's going out. Um, start with these two right here. This is a, a pair going out to Sean Weems. I had painted a little bit darker of a version of this because I had forgotten that somebody made an exact replica of this particular pattern from my website on a rifle stock for him. So I apologize that I did not get it right the first time, but it is this time. This is a very bright, bold, vivid, long-eared gill, and uh, it can be found on the SQB cranks on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. That's going out the door this morning. Also have the six-piece to complete the ten-piece for Daniel Clevenger. These two are very OG. He asked for all OG patterns, which is cool. Um, I haven't done patterns like this for Cross in years, but he liked the uh, the cool color combination on this. It's got a bright red belly, that transparent orange, and flame, and a little bit of green. And then we've got that mad craw. These are more realistic and lifelike. Those red eyes and just some transparent black for the shading on those, for those cross stencil shadings. The last of the cross. You pick all this stuff up on the website. These are going out the door today as well. These guys. So I have a bunch of these back in stock. It has been a slow trickle, but finally some of this stuff is starting to come back in. Um, I've had to repurchase a bunch of stuff from other places, which um, is never, it's never fun. And it's always an expense that you don't want. There's, there's tons of glitter on these guys. So like I was joking around the other day, almost called them Vegas showgirls. <laughs> just for the glitter purposes but these are loaded with glitter and it's in that morning dawn pattern um, these will also be going out this weekend as well now the cool thing about this I'm gonna set this down for a second and show you what I'm using so I came across these are Berkeley power bait it's the new Mike Iconelli um, worm it's got the really cool taper tail but this is awesome for our purposes for rat tails. So a bunch of different colors. Wanted to see how they swim. They swim great behind a wake bait. Um, the tail will kind of drop down a little bit if you're not trolling them. Uh, but when you stop them, the tail will dip just a little bit. Doesn't stay on the water surface. But when you're trolling them, it's probably one of the most wicked acting tails I've seen so far. So these are the Berkeley Ikes. And they come in about 20 different colors. Love the way the structure is in this plastic mold. And this is just that morning dawn. And it's, man, it's just so glow, hot, fluorescent type deal. Um, even more so right up in the sunlight. So very happy with those. I'm glad you can find them at Tackle Warehouse. I think it costs like 3 or $4 for a pack of 10 This is that Eastern Coral Snake. So the red, yellow, black pattern, bright yellow eyes, some fun shading on the gill plates, gives it that three-dimensional raised look, like you can kind of see up under there. It's just all in technique and shading. And just angling that spray to give you that textured effect. So this is going out to Desmond. What else do we have here? Yeah, got this one. I definitely want to show you guys this. This will be the last piece that we're actually, no, there's two pieces that we're going to show off to end the video. This one is a mirror card for Scott Denwitty in this nine inch heavy, heavy glide, slow sink, dust off of it there. Sorry about that. Now, the fun thing about this, and I'll keep this on camera for you guys so you guys can kind of take a look at it. You know, I do a lot of hand cutting of my own stencils. So this is what I came up with for that. Just um, the mirror carp scales kind of look like peach slices to me. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Um, so that's what I used. 
and then just kind of mimicked it all the way down in that pattern and then hand detailed every single scale with um, an acrylic ink pen, which uh, I used a Copic on that. I'll show you what these are. These are expensive markers. These, uh, actually, this is the Zig, but I've got, uh, let me find that Copic. There we go. It's an illustration pen. It's light, fast, waterproof, uh, lays down a very cool fine point. Get that in camera and focus. Really good for detailing and you can go direct to paint with that stuff. So that's what I use. Um, this is about seven or eight dollars a pen and they usually come in like four or five packs. So they're not cheap but I do enough of them that it kind of warrants having that. And then uh, a couple of creature feature stencils on the, this is about five or six layers on this. And then definitely transparent paint along the bottom because there's, if you can see this, there's so much reflective property in these glide baits all the way through. So you really want that to reflect. So I try and keep it and you can see it there again as well. You really want that to show through in your pattern. And last but certainly not least for Monday Hackett. This is the finished product. This is that orange spotted gill from the other day from the spray session. Love how the pectoral fins came out on this thing. Overall, I really like the way this came out. Now, um, there are a couple of questions with this, and I'm going to answer Andrew at my very first convenience, but there were a couple of questions as to why I did one thing and not another. I'm not sitting right in front of that, but I will certainly answer those questions for you, Andrew. I did get your questions, and uh, I don't mind answering you at all. So just basically the choices that I made and why I did one particular type of layer over another uh, or why I chose specific types of patterns why I didn't put a lighter base down underneath yellow, I think was one of the questions. Uh, I really just wanted to minimize the amount of paint that I was putting on this because I wanted this crackle scale effect that shows out really well in the background throughout this entire bait. And the more layers you put on, the more risk you take of losing the integrity of this crackle scaling from the mesh. So that's why I think that's one of the answers for you. But that is all the news that's fit to print. We are going to get this shipped out this morning. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day. We should have like two or three spray sessions coming out within the next nine day period. I'm going to try and go every three days on spray sessions with the normal stuff in between. Then I've got, I've got to put together a couple of fishing videos as well. So you guys take care. Just real quick, I want to give a shout out to Dan Jones. Um, in the process of doing um, my version of uh, cool red cichlid for him on a jitterbug. He's an Arbogast freak. And he sent me this coaster for my coffee, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending me the coaster. And a really cool little paper airplane, um, which I also appreciate as well. So thank you, Daniel, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers, and happy casting.